This is, Details of My Art, for Section 1, Hues of Life, by B.K. Bazet, from Book Colors, Photo Collage, 8 by 4 inches. You are listening Section 1, Hues of Life, from the book, Colors, by B.K. Bazet, Orphanage, and Hell. I created this photo collage using, images from my art, my sculptures, and my photographs. I named it, Orphans, and Passages. The word, passages, represent, the ways orphans will pass through life as survivors, or not, their passages, being alone and abandoned, are the passages of life and dead. The following essay, Orphanage, and Hell, is inspired from this photo collage. Orphans have been an important subject for artists, and writers, throughout history. In the images of my photo collage, orphans, and passages, from child, to young adult pictures of me, represent the times when I began the search for my biological roots. The picture of the wooden sculpture, of three, crouched, human bodies, on the right, portrays, a man, holding a woman on his shoulders, and a child on her shoulders, and that child is trying to stand up. This wooden sculpture represents, the burden, of a man, and a woman, and a child they created. The burden is about a child they created it but they have neglected, or gave up for adoption. On the lowest right, there is a picture of humans, the adopters, waiting in line, to visit an orphanage through a red door. This image represents, the massive need for more abandoned children to be adopted, or being taken care of by humans. In the center of the collage, there is the drawing of my eye, witnessing. This drawing represents my unhappiness, and sadness, of knowing that I was adopted. Yet so many children in orphanages out there, have not been so lucky, and all this, due to the hell humans created on earth. The other pictures on this collage, are from my drawings, my sculptures, or my paintings, the art I have created over the years. If you analyze them closely, they are somewhat connected with the message I try to express about abandoned children. Orphanage, and hell, the main entrance, opened into a hall crowded with children who were playing, running, crying and laughing. I had never seen so many beautiful, little creatures in one place. For some reason, orphans usually turn out to be exceptionally good looking. A group of women were instructing them. At once, I found myself at the center of the children's attention. They immediately surrounded me, and began embracing me. Are you my parent? They asked, with their excited and innocent voices. Have you come for me? They asked. I was trapped, in the midst of all those precious, rejected souls. I wish I could adopt them all. I looked at one little boy, who was the loudest. His little arms encircled my legs like a chain. I noticed a lonesome little girl in the corner, staring at me, with the most forlorn expression I had ever seen on a child. Somehow, I managed to disengage from all those little arms, those weak human chains around me. I managed not to hear those little voices. I stepped towards the girl, but she ran off. She knew I was only a visiting, stranger who wouldn't take her away. Take me home, please. Another boy shouted, rolling towards me in a wheelchair. He had a breathtaking smile. God, what the hell did they do to deserve this? I held back my tears, not to add more sadness to the place. I noticed the boys were more aggressive than the girls. I heard a baby's cry from the end of the hallway where they seemed to keep the infants. When the staff asked me why I visited the orphanage, I just said that I wanted to see the place where my life began. They told me that adopted folks always come back, to see their first, miserable home. The staff told me that many of these gorgeous children, are not adopted because, some are sick or disabled, gypsies, and most, because they simply have no luck. Life is a cruel and unfair game, for those who are manipulated by others. Like these innocent souls, I sighed, thinking of my home and parents. How lucky I was not to be stuck in hell. I had to plow through, the dense crowd of damaged souls, to reach the exit. They kept trying to stop me. I moved faster to free myself from the burden of their misfortune. I didn't commit a crime. The ones that created them, betrayed them. Each step away, was as hard as the thought, of going back again, in the hell of the innocent.
you can continue to read the book on Amazon. Just search for The Colors by BK Baz, read more of BK Baz's work, and other books, on Amazon.com. For more information, reviews, excerpts, interviews, videos, news, events, art, poetry, other books, and writings, visit BK Baz's website at www.bazzy.com. Watch BK Baz's YouTube videos at www.youtube.com slash bkbazzy or visit bk's google blog or google internet search keywords are bk baz bk bazzy is a writer poet and artist he is the author of damages creative nonfiction, winner in the writer's digest awards also identities poetry and colors art book he is published and his art is exhibited in europe and in america